Hello everyone and welcome back to Gage Hill Crafts. I'm your host Sarah and this is part two of a needle, knitting needle review series. <laughs> um, for part one which covered interchangeable knitting needle sets, um, interchangeable circulars, uh, you can look at last week's video. And today I'm going to be talking about fixed circulars um, because I just have one brand of those that I like and then I'm also going to be talking in depth about double pointed needle sets or DPNs. So let's jump right into it. Um, the brand of fixed circulars that I like the best, um, and this is mostly because the tips swivel on the cable, um, it are called KA or Kinki Amibari, and I apologize if my Japanese pronunciation is not that great. Um, K-I-N-K-I Amibari and I'll put the title up here on the screen. Um, but these are made uh, in Japan. They're made of bamboo. And like I said, the tips um, swivel on the cable. So you can see I can turn the knitting needle itself without turning the cable. Um, this is a must have uh, feature in any of my circular needles that I knit with regularly. And so um, that's why I really like these. Um, <laughs> Uh, another thing I like is that the, the join is very smooth between the cable, the connector, and then the wooden part of the needle itself. The yarn flows really nicely there. Um, this is a hardened bamboo, so it is very hard, and I, ha I work these down into maybe a, f a 5 or a 4 in terms of U.S. needle size, and so even on the thinner needles, they, s they still seem very hard. I've never bent or broken one. Um, the tips are pointy enough without being super sharp um, or being worried about splitting, um, which can happen with wooden needles. And so overall, I think the manufacturing uh, quality on these is extremely high, and I can certainly recommend these. Um, they're also relatively affordable. Uh, I just looked online to see what the latest prices were. I think I've paid anywhere up to $16 in a you know fancy knitting store, but you can get them online for less, maybe eight or nine dollars um, a piece depending on the size, the US uh, tip needle size and also the length of the cable. So probably still averaging out around ten dollars for a single um, circular uh, needle. But I knit a lot of hats on these. Um, they're nice and lightweight. Um, they're grippy enough. They're a little bit more grippy than metal needles so if I'm working with you know, a yarn that has a lot of silk or mohair or something like that in it, it's nice to have a little bit more grip on your texture so your stitches aren't uh, sliding all over the place or falling off. Um, and yeah, I really like these. Um, the other reason I sometimes prefer a fixed uh, circular over an interchangeable is that you don't have the problem of having your needle tip come off of your cable, either through unscrewing or through dramatically popping off, as I discussed in my last video. And so if you're working on something like case, uh, cables or lace or, you know, a really big shawl, you don't want to um, have that happen. <laughs> I mean, you never want that to happen, but if you're knitting like a stockinette Aran sweater, it's probably less of a problem. But if you're knitting a fine lace project, you really don't want a catastrophic failure with your needle and uh, causing a bunch of problems. So that's one of the reasons that I, I do occasionally knit with these fixed um, circulars. And I really like these. So K-A, um, you can look them up online just as that, um, or you can type in the full name. A lot of online retailers uh, sell these, and also a lot of knitting stores sell them. So check with your local yarn shop and see if they can order these for you um, if you want to give them a try. Um, next we have kind of a don't do. Um, I'll move on to DPNs now. So uh, I got frustrated one day. Uh, it was late at night and I couldn't find a DPN uh, set in a size that I needed for something that I wanted to work on right that minute. And so out of that frustration, I think I went online to one of the big box retailers and I bought, you know, a set of 12 sets of DPNs for not very much money, maybe $20 or something. So, you know, I'm not talking about 12 individual needles. I'm talking about 12 sets of five. So that's, t that's a bunch of needles in a bunch of different sizes. And they came and they were all, the, the set was all complete and stuff, but the manufacturing on these is a little wonky. Um, I can definitely tell when I hold these needles in my hand that some are slightly thinner and some are slightly thicker. And they're all supposed to be six millimeter, but I don't think they're all milled quite to the spec. 
of one of these name brand um, needle companies that I'm going to mention. So <clears throat> while they are, you know, incredibly inexpensive option, and certainly if you're on a tight budget, you know, then by all means um, shop to your budget. But if you can afford to build up your needle collection over time uh, with some higher quality needles, that's exactly what I would do because your gauge is going to vary, you know, as you knit with these and you get a thinner one in the set and then a thicker one in the set, your gauge might be a little bit wonky um, as you knit with them. Um, so that's just caveat emptor, right? You get what you pay for. Um, so moving along from there, I will continue to talk about wooden needles. And like the KA uh, Kinky Amibari, the um, circular needles I mentioned a minute ago, these clovers are also um, <clears throat> manufactured in Japan. They're manufactured again of a hardened bamboo. So it's a bamboo, I think they heat treated or, or pressure treated or something to harden it up so that it's not flexible um, or it's minimally flexible. I guess these are slightly flexible, but they don't feel like they're going to be bent or be weak in the hand when you're knitting with them. Um, I should say I'm very hard on my needles and so that's why I often knit with metal needles because I know they're going to hold up to my grip. Um, some wooden and bamboo needles end up getting snapped in half when I work with them. Um, so, you know, it's, it's nice when I come across a company where they're well made, they're hardened off, and that way I can feel a little bit less worried about them snapping while I'm working. Um, so these again are made by Clover. Um, I think the actual brand name is Takumi, T-A-K-U-M-I, um, but they're marketed under the Clover brand. And Clover makes um, all kinds of knitting needles, knitting accessories. Um, they do make a circular version of this as well as straights. Um, I don't use straight needles at all, and I only use circulars that rotate. So their circulars have a fixed cable where you can't rotate the needle tip around the cable. Um, so that's why I only use the Clovers in the DPNs. But I do uh, very much like these. Um, they have a fairly short taper at the tip. Um, so they're a little fiddly if you're trying to do something like cables or a complicated lace maneuver where you have to knit through a back loop or something because you don't have a lot of taper to work with. Um, but I don't knit a ton of complicated knitting like that so that doesn't really bother me too much. Um, and what else can I say? They come in a set of five. Um, all, of the, all of the needles that I talk about uh, these days come in a set of five which is nice because then you can work with four or five needles depending on what you're knitting. Um, you have that option. Some sets only come with four and so you're working on three and knitting with one at a time. Um, so these are a pretty good value. These uh, are seven inch needles and they retail for around nine to ten dollars a set depending on the size, um, the, uh, the needle size. Um, I don't think they make a shorter version of this or a longer one. I think the clovers only come in a seven inch length, um, which is fine. I mean, the main things I knit with these are the tops of hats or um, the tapered part of a sweater sleeve once you get down to the end of the sleeve and you're knitting on this small circumference. Um, so seven inches are just fine for those, uh, those things. Um, another uh, bamboo brand that I only have one set of, um, and I didn't even grab the whole set, I just grabbed two of them. Um, these are ponies, uh, pony like the horse. Um, these are made in India. They're also a bamboo. They're hardened off and they're, I think they're also heat treated or tented because they're kind of a darker color. You can see there's a clover. So you can see that the ponies are a bit darker. Um, <clears throat> and these I got by accident, uh, by happy accident. So Rick and I were traveling, uh, visiting some friends in Wales and I had packed everything I needed for a certain project except for a smaller um, diameter option for knitting. I think it was a sweater sleeve or maybe it was the top of a hat. I can't remember now. Um, so, you know, I was knitting away on my circular needle and then I got to the point where I had to decrease a bunch of stitches and went, uh oh, I didn't pack my DPNs. So um, we happened to be going, we were in Abergavenny, Wales and they have a little flea market there. Um, it's very much, there are some antiques, but it's a lot of uh, kind of junk <laughs> from people's houses. Uh, old, old random stuff. Um, so we were having fun just kind of poking around 
and seeing what was there. And Rick came across a table that had a bunch of knitting stuff, old yarn, knitting books, and there were collections of knitting needles. And in amongst all the plastic ones and all the bent metal ones, there was a perfectly brand new set of these pony bamboo needles. And so he goes, hey, honey, would these work? Are these the size you need? And it was perfect. Uh, size sixes. Um, and I absolutely love these. The finish on these are, are really outstanding. Um, they're even harder than the clovers. So in terms of, you know, that, that give and that flexibility, they really have none, um, which makes me a much more confident knitter. And they have a longer taper and they're a little pointier. So for, again, for doing those complicated maneuvers, um, they're nice and stabby and uh, very easy to use. I love these and uh, I don't know, I might be asking for more of these as a gift. Um, it's hard for me to tell if Pony are still making the bamboo needles. So if you know for sure, um, or if you feel like doing a little more research or something, feel free to leave a comment below about these. It, from the website, it doesn't look like they make them anymore, but it's really difficult to tell. I did find some sizes available for sale as of, this is October, 2019. Um, I found some sizes for sale on some websites, but some sizes would, would be listed as sold out. So I'm not really clear how widely available these are, but if I can get my hands on some more, I'm definitely going to buy them. Um, I would encourage you, if you're going to any kind of secondhand, you know, fiber auctions or um, estate sales or anything like that, where there's knitting needles available, dig through and see if they have some ponies because these, this is a fantastic brand. Um, these are a little tiny bit longer. They're not, they're a bit over seven inches. And I don't know if they ever made them in a shorter version. So there are your seven inch clovers. And you can see the ponies are like a half an inch longer. Um, they're 20 centimeters, which does not come out to a nice round inch number, but that's okay. Um, again, hat tops and sleeve decreases. Really, really good on these. Um, and then the last uh, brand of DPNs that I knit with frequently are the Knitter's Pride Carbons, and that's spelled K-A-R-B-O-N-Z, and they look like this. So they're black uh, carbon fiber with a nickel-plated tip that's actually glued onto the end. Um, and I like these because, as I just mentioned, I'm pretty hard on my needles, and when I get down into these smaller diameters, this is a US-2 for sock knitting, um, I knit sport weight socks on a US 2 typically, and finger eight and weight socks I knit on a US size 1. Um, and at these very small diameters, I have broken more wooden needles than I care to confess to. Let's just say I've learned my lesson, and I do not buy small diameter wooden needles of any kind. Not bamboo, not birch, not walnut, I don't care what it is, I'm going to break it. Um, so that's why I love these uh, carbon fibers. They are completely indestructible. Um, I, they, they are slightly flexible. I don't know if you can see that, but they do bend just a little bit, but they will not break. They will stand up to me. And um, the nickel plated tips are very nice. The join between the nickel plating part and the body of the um, carbon fiber needle is very smooth. So the nickel plated tips on these are nice and pointy and they're nice and slick so you can get them in and out of your knitting really easily but the shaft on these needles is the carbon fiber and that has a little bit of a grip to it. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to describe because it's not a texture, uh, like a surface texture. They're not rough at all, but they just kind of have a warm woody feel almost to them and they have a bit of a drag. I guess that's a good way to put it. Um, the material itself just isn't as slick. And so um, for something like socks, um, it's really nice because these are so lightweight and they do have that little bit of drag that when you're knitting um, on knitting socks on DPNs, oftentimes as you're knitting around, that last needle before you get to it wants to kind of slide out of your work. Um, and these do not slide at all. I've never had one slip out of my knitting. Um, <clears throat> so highly, highly recommended, especially for travel, because, you know, no one likes to be the person on the airplane or the train or the whatever uh, and have a knitting needle slide out of, your, out of your work and then have it go rolling, you know, five aisles in front of you. Um, I really like these. Now, I do also have a set of carbons on fixed circulars, um, small diameter for casting on 
uh, certain cast-ons for socks, um, particular the figure eight or the um, Turkish cast-on. Um, it's just easier to do some of those cast-ons where you can put some of the stitches onto the cable part and have that diameter be a little smaller to give you some play in those stitches so that you can get started with your cast on and it's not quite so tight and fiddly. Um, but I only use these to cast on with and once I get going on my sock that I will transfer them back onto uh, DPNs which is just my preferred way of knitting socks. Um, but if, if like me you have trouble with breaking plastic or wooden needles and you're looking for something stronger and you don't mind a fixed cable or if you prefer something like a magic loop method um, just know that the carbons do come in uh, a circular option as well and they also come on longer um, longer cables so you could do magic loop or something like that with this um, the carbons are a little bit more expensive so I think all of the bamboo needles I mentioned are in that kind of you know anywhere from seven to maybe ten dollars per set um, these retail for Sorry, I should say these, <laughs> the double points, retail anywhere from $13 to $20 per set, um, which is, you know, can be up to double the price of the uh, bamboos. But with these, you're going to get a longer lasting needle. Um, I think any bamboo needle over time, the points are going to wear down to the point where they are going to start splitting on you. And, you know, maybe that would take 10 years, but eventually you're probably going to have to replace these. Whereas these, I don't, I don't think you'd have to replace these at all. I think they'd last a whole lifetime. Um, manufacturing wise or performance wise, the only issue I've ever had with these is that I did have the nickel tip come off of one of the needles. Um, and uh, I contacted the manufacturer, they were willing to replace them, but I ended up just putting a bit of super glue on the inner shaft and then popping the um, tip back on and that has held up perfectly well so and that's only happened to me once so in terms of performance um, you know they're easy to repair yourself which is great if you're doing it at 10 o'clock at night and you can't get to customer service or you would have to wait a couple days to get a replacement needle um, but the customer service and the and the customer support behind this brand Knitter, Knitter's Pride is also um, well known and and very good um, too so I can I can say that with confidence. Um, now Knitter's Pride do make their knitting needles with a whole bunch of different other materials. Uh, they make aluminum, they make wood, they make different kinds of plastics and all of that. But like I said, I, I tend to break a lot of those um, kinds of materials. I think it's just down to my grip and the fact that I'm a tight knitter. And so um, the carbon fibers, um, I really do recommend. Um, I thought of one other caveat just now, and that's that um, because these are black, um, it can be hard to see your stitches if you're working with a dark yarn. So caveat emptor on that, um, but otherwise, I really like these, and I recommend them to everybody. Um, I think they're a much better value. Um, you know, my uh, I have a couple friends that knit with um, signatures, which are incredibly well-made um, needles, but they're heavy. They're solid aluminum and they're heavy and they're incredibly slippery. So they actually slide out of your work pretty readily. Um, and they're also about at least twice the price of these. So I think value for money, the carbons are a much better buy. Um, oh, and I should say that they're DPNs. These come actually in two sizes. These are the six inch and these are what I use for knitting socks. Um, if you wanted an eight inch, for knitting hats or sweater sleeves or something like that, they also do sell that size in a DPN. So um, I hope these two episodes of needle reviews were helpful for you. Um, like I said, everything is products that I bought with my own money or things that were given to me as gifts and purchased. Um, so there's no kind of sponsorship or anything like that. Um, and you know, it is all my own opinion and my own experience. And while I've been knitting for 15 years, you know, your mileage may vary, your knitting style probably does vary from mine, and so there may be other brands um, or other styles of needles that you prefer, and that's absolutely wonderful. I think everybody should um, pick out the materials and the style of needles that work best for them within their budget. So um, I'm not telling you that you have to have to buy any of these, but 
Um, again, if you are looking for a gift or you're looking for a new needle to try out, I just wanted to share my experiences and let you know what my preferences were and what was working for me. Um, tune in next week. I think I'm going to talk about working with patterns and how I um, how I work with patterns and how I keep track of where I am in patterns um, for different kinds of knitting projects. And so again, uh, keeping up on this sort of tips and tricks series, um, I had a couple of ideas about that. If there's anything else, uh, knitting or other hobby related um, that you're interested in, we'd love to hear your ideas for the show. So please leave a comment below and tell us if there's any topics that you would like me to explore or uh, give advice on or anything like that. I'm happy. I'm happy to have your input. Um, thanks for being here. We just hit uh, over 300 on the YouTube channel subscribers and that's a big deal. It's taken us almost two years to get there. So thank you to everybody for subscribing and for signing up uh, and watching each week. And if you are not subscribed or if you don't get the notifications, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and that way you're sure to see all the episodes. Thank you so much. Happy crafting, and we'll be back next week. Cheers. <laughs>